NASA is advancing an existing technology to enable future space exploration of the solar system. With plans to expand human missions to Mars and science exploration of the outer planets, the need for reliable power becomes essential. Space-qualified nuclear reactors are one technology that could provide for safe and reliable power for many of these missions. Nuclear power in space is not new. These clips from the 1960s provide a window into the past. A U.S. program was put into place that developed and flew the world's first space reactor. Before the reactor is turned on, that is, prior to fission starting, the reactor fuel is very safe and only mildly radioactive. A joint venture between NASA and the Department of Energy is underway to develop a new space reactor that meets a range of exploration missions. The reactor, called Kilopower, can deliver a range of 1 to 10 kilowatts of electricity. That is enough to power anything from one toaster to an entire household. Kilopower will be tested in the Nevada desert at the Nevada National Security Site. The test has a fissioning reactor deliver heat to Stirling converters. Each converter produces about 100 watts. The goal of the test is to confirm the system's predicted performance. The reactor core is a cylinder of enriched uranium that is 6 inches in diameter. A beryllium oxide reflector will surround the uranium core. A single rod of boron carbide is used to turn on the reactor. The reactor uses well-established nuclear physics to self-regulate the fission reactions, and this feature eliminates the need for a complicated control system. The reactor uses nuclear fission to produce heat, which is delivered by heat pipes to power generators, known as Stirling converters. A radiator is used to keep the Stirling converters cool. A great deal remains to be done, but with the successful completion of the nuclear test in Nevada, NASA is coming ever closer to the reality of a space-qualified nuclear reactor. Over the coming years, the reliability and safety of Kilopower will be tested to assure that when the new era of space exploration begins, all systems will be a go.